Let's welcome back to the stage our event's lead organizer, David Diskin. And how about another round of applause for our MC, Marie Bain? Isn't she doing an amazing job? She's got like nine hours left on that Kickstarter, you know, no pressure. Um, one of the things that, that we have to acknowledge in our political system is that there aren't a lot of people who represent us. That is their job. When we vote or don't vote, their job is to represent us. There aren't a lot of them who are openly secular, right? Um, in fact, can <laughs> David, are you sure? There's no one, right? No. In, in, in fact, um, outside of Pete Stark, who's no longer serving, and Barney Frank, who's no longer serving, is there anyone that you guys can name at the federal level that is openly secular? Uh, there's a couple that are kind of maybe, sort of, but will they say that they're an atheist? No. How about at the state level here in California? There's a couple that are supportive. In fact, we've got a lot of really neat little certificates over here. Um, I want to thank all of those representatives for recognizing Free Thought Day. We are making strides, though. Um, I am really thrilled to uh, bring, for the first time ever, to Free Thought Day, uh, two folks who are either, uh, one is currently running for office uh, at the uh, Chico City Council, and another has already won office uh, down in Southern California. And so to tell you just a little bit about them and their story and what they're doing and their campaign and their platform, uh, let's welcome uh, the first two that I know of uh, candidates who are in California who are openly secular. Please welcome Carolee Hargrove and Mercedes Macias. Hi, I'm Carolee Hargrove. First, let me just say, the two candidates we have up here are two young ladies. So that's pretty amazing because we're going to change the world. Uh, I live in 29 Palms, if anyone knows where that is. But I say Joshua Tree, people say, oh, I know where that is. Uh, I serve on the Morongo Unified School Board. Our school district is the size of Rhode Island. It's 46 miles wide, 46 miles across. It's pretty huge. Uh, when I first started running for office, I was either going to sue the school district or, you know, run. So I said, well, instead of suing them, let me run, and then I can just make their life a living hell. And I've done that for four years, uh, which has been fun. But I'm a mother to five, uh, ranging from 14 to four years old. One of them is severely handicapped with epilepsy and autism. And so not only that, but also secular values and also ensuring our students are getting the best education are really my big goals. It's not easy where I live. It's very, very conservative. I didn't come out and say, hey, I'm an atheist and I'm running for office. Uh, I didn't do that. What I used was the word secular uh, because serving on a board with four other Republicans, that's the way you get stuff done because they don't understand. And <laughs> so recently, uh, it's not a big thing, but to me it was huge. Instead of our local calendar saying Christmas Day, we now just call it a local holiday. And I got that pushed through, and they didn't think twice. And I thought, this is huge. For this conservative area, this is a really big deal. So it was showing we can make strides. Uh, I've also run for state assembly. I did that in 2014. I ran against Chad Mays, who's the current Republican minority leader. It was really fun running against somebody from Liberty University. Uh, that was fun. It really wasn't. The guy was a mess. But, you know, um, I just want to encourage everyone in here to really think about running for office. I hear a lot, why well, I'm too busy. I work a full-time job, full-time college student. I have these five kids. I serve on a school board. If I can do it, anyone in here can do it. And it's going to really take starting from the local level to really make progress. So that's a little bit about me, and, and thanks for listening. Oh, man, here, let me see. I know how to do this. I'm a musician. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, actually, 
I, uh, I am a musician. My name is Mercedes Macias. I'm running for city council in Chico, and I happen to have in Chico the great luck of having an atheist majority in our area. Right, we're 65% majority atheist, only 15% majority Roman Catholic, um, and 10% evangelical Protestant, and then a couple of, you know, Hindus and Buddhists and the good people of our earth um, identifying as some other thing other than Christian. Um, I wanted to, so I'm 26 years old, you may have noticed I'm young, and also I'm a woman, as was told up here. Um, that was a shock to me, thank you for pointing that out, because, oh, what would I do without that? Um, I'm 26 years old, I've wanted to do this since I was 12. I was raised Roman Catholic, you may also have noticed that I'm Mexican, um, yeah, also a shocker, but I was raised and indoctrinated in this attending Catholic school from kindergarten through 10th grade. Uh, yeah, I know, um, and I'm a very proud and out atheist, and I'm running as such. Um, I am young, so when people uh, see me, they're already offended, um, <laughs> or whatever it is. I'm also a woman, I'm also Mexican, so I got a lot of things going against me, right? I'm a Bernie supporter, and um, <laughs> thank you. Bernie said, run for city council, but like I said, I've wanted to do this since I was 12. Um, I'd be very happy to answer any questions. I'm going to be here for the rest of the day and around tomorrow at uh, Secular Advocacy Day as well, and I'm pushing for reform in my area, environmental reform, because with Chico, we have a lot of trees and we got a lot of beautiful stuff. I teach water quality, and I actually am a respite care provider for the Arc of Butte County with a 14-year-old girl who has cerebral palsy, autism, and epilepsy. So when you said that, you didn't even know, but um, I am informed about those needs. So if anybody has any questions, if we have time, maybe like a minute, we want to ask either of us a question. I'm here. One quick question each. One quick question each. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Uh, mine was solar because they thought it was crazy to have solar in the desert. That took me three years. It's finally finished. <laughs> that was my big pet. Uh, the, the next one is really getting into the classrooms and focusing on what the teachers need because I think as a board member we kind of just sit there and do policy and we don't focus on what the real needs of the teachers and the students are in the classroom. Excellent. Yeah, solar. That makes great sense. Um, my big thing in Chico is housing first. We have a huge homeless or houseless population, and I'm an advocate for housing first, which is putting them into housing immediately and giving them the services they need in that location so that they don't feel hopeless, which I feel is the real problem. So we're pushing that. We just brought Lloyd Pendleton, who's a nationally renowned homelessness expert, to Chico, and we turned out 400 people to listen to him. And uh, I also I work with an emergency shelter program. We're gearing that up right now for the winter time. So that's my biggest priority because winter is coming. And um, <laughs> yeah, and then I also said like greening Chico, doing bike lanes, and making sure that we have sustainable infrastructure starting planning right now, and people are thinking past their four-year term. And they are going to stick around for a while, so please uh, continue to ask them questions. And um, I just want to say congratulations to you both uh, just for running. I hope you guys can do this next year. Let's get like 20 more people up here. Uh, thank you for indulging, and I'll hand it back to Marie.